Today we got Lotus Seafood. Got some daiquiris. And I'm here with Chris, AKA CNOMS365. <laughs> so I got a uh, watermelon and mango daiquiri. Here you go, first sip. Oh dang, it's strong. It's good. <laughs> it's good. And it's then so good. he got all the flavors, so it kind of like mixed into a black mesh. <laughs> yeah, so there's like four flavors. Uh, we got the hot box, which is like their seafood boil box. And then we also got their loud pack, which is like a Cajun rice with shrimp. And some crack sauce. And crack Extra sauce. crack sauce on the side. So that crack sauce is like butter, like a buttery Cajun sauce. So good. They call it crack because it's pretty addicting. Here you go. First bite. Sausage. Sausage. Very good. Very good. This would be so good if there was jalapeno in it. Mm -hmm. Wait, you don't like spicy though? No, I don't mind it. <laughs> as long as it's not like crazy, like we Reaper or something. Mm -hmm. There you go. Shrimp. Shrimp. First bite, shrimp. Dip it in that crack sauce. Mmm. Oh god. It's super buttery. So good. So the rice also has small baby shrimp and some crawfish in there too as well. Yeah. So if you guys haven't had Cajun stuff. Fried rice is pretty good. Okay. Gotta <clears throat> put some crack sauce over it. Mm -hmm. Drizzle. First bite. Mmm. It's so good with the, the sauce. sauce. Okay. And try the egg. It's just a boiled egg. Have you had the crawfish at this place? Mm -mm. No. I mean, I mean honestly. Whenever you eat like uh, bit like Asian Cajun mm -hmm. type crawfish, it's not the same. Yeah. Whenever you go to other places where they just use the seasoning and you know mm -hmm. the wat to boil. So I think that I've had a boil uh, from them before, but mm -hmm. you really do have to have the sauce. Yeah. I like it when they use a lot of garlic. Mhm. Mm a lot of garlic and butter. Yeah. Yeah, I think I went like at the beginning of college, so that was like six years ago. Mhm. Mm it was just starting to like become big. I found out whenever I moved down to Braidsworth. Mm. My roommate used to say like, oh this place is so good. I've never done a mukbang before. <laughs> Except for once. Whenever uh -huh. I did that uh, that rice dog. What's the rice dog? The, the corn dog? The oh. corn dog. <laughs> when you're like, man, finally you featured, you featured yourself. And I was like, yep, every once in a while. Because some, folk, some bloggers, you don't even see them. Yeah, at so all. I, you don't even know what they look like at all because exactly. they don't like any pictures of themselves. <laughs> so I feel like I don't have a personal connection with them when I don't see their face. Yeah. So I like am surprised when people are like, oh, I like watching you eat. I'm like, oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you. <laughs> Dude, that's weird. Okay, sure. But then like I get the opposite reaction from like my cousins and then like my closer friends are like, oh, yeah, I skipped through it. <laughs> 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 it's, like, it's weird watching you eat. I'm like, no, <laughs> it's on. We're on a different level. That's why. <laughs> right. It's because you know me. The funny thing was is that yesterday when I was at my grandma's house, we were watching mukbangs. Uh huh. And she loved it. Yeah. She was like, Oh yeah, Andy Kong Andy. <laughs> I think she was like, uh, Yes, yes. Oh yeah, yeah. He's like, oh my god. Love watching people eat. Okay, snow crabs. Snow crab time. Uh, suck the body. <laughs> But you and you do y'all work in the same department or? Uh, we were in different departments, but like the office is like pretty much like an open concept layout, so we can easily just walk over to each other. And just talk to each other and just like, mm -hmm. <laughs> at least you have each other. That's so cool. Yeah. That's such a cool thing that you have each other through all of the, everything, letting your life. Because she first started, so how we started off was she interned there first for like mm -hmm. the summer. She did a summer internship and then we were like finishing up school. And then I landed a job there in like January. And then T was like, I want to work with you. <laughs> so she <laughs> applied and she got in February. So like a month after my first day. But y'all been have working there for how long? Um, year? This January would have been two years. Two years. I was trying to make it to two years, but then that didn't. <laughs> right? With COVID and everything? Yeah. Did you go to UVH? Mm -hmm. No. I went to San Jack and then I uh, transferred to MD Anderson. Mm. Wait, biotech is medical? Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, I can never see myself doing anything in the medical field. 
Well, I thought it did. I'm thinking about going back to school to do something else, but mm -hmm. my mom and my parents convinced me that, like, oh, if you're not going to go back to school, you know, you should just start your own business and stuff like that mm -hmm. and save up for your business. Yeah. But the thing is, is that, like, I have my parents and the fact that, like, mm -hmm. that they can, like, if I need to rent out a building or whatever. Yeah. Or at least a building that they have experience and I, yeah. I can go through them. I was thinking of doing a coffee shop. That would be nice. But just something like, but I don't want to do like pho and stuff like that because mm -hmm. it's just a lot of work. Yeah. Do I'll all do all that. the food part. You can do the management. <laughs> like the management, front of house stuff, like I can do that all day. Like that's what I've been doing. Mm -hmm. So like the front end of the house and then like all of the business part, I can do. Mm -hmm. But cooking though, I mean, I enjoy cooking for myself, but not for mm -hmm. other people. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. <laughs>